are the navy blues We are the old dark navy blues We're the team that never lets them down We're the only team old Carlton knows Alright everybody and welcome back to 2022 Vince how are you buddy? How's things mate? Happy New Year Rocco. Good Happy to see New you. Year. Welcome back to Talking Blue. And look who we've got right and here. And look who we got here. So we we just quickly we were gonna we're gonna do the 1982 because we're just we're just on the eve yep. of Richmond. We are. Those scumbags. So we thought <laughs> let's get some play. Like you've never played in the grand final, correct? Uh no. I've never played in grand final, <laughs> so we get two people playing the grand final. We've got Wayne Johnson. And Mr. Kenny Hunter, how are you guys? Good, Good to see you, boys. Good Thanks, Thanks, for yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. This is an absolute privilege. This is an absolute privilege. So we're going to go through the 82 Grand Final yep. just quietly. Before we start that, Mr. Wayne Dominator Johnson, 209 go uh, games, 283 goals. Do you remember them all? Uh, only the good one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it, and Mr. Hunter, you won 47 games and 160 goals. Yes. 160. Who had the better average? I don't know, but I don't um, know. I I'm, not, I'm not good at maths. I, I wrote it down. You had it by 0.3 better. So <laughs> right, that was really? not bad because yeah. you were a defender, so yeah, exactly. you did not too bad. So there were seven premierships between you guys. Seven premierships. Four and three. We've got Carlton Hall of Fame. Uh, you also the Australian Hall of Fame, you've got also the uh, best and fairest winners, you've done it all. So this is absolutely a privilege and we welcome you to the show. Yep. Alright, well, let's start. I'll tell you what, you guys have played in a few grand finals together, I think uh, 81, 82 and 87 as well. Yep, we played in 86 but we didn't... Uh, oh yeah, we played in 86, 86 I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't remember well, that. Well in, well in fact it was only... Um, from the 81 82 grand final teams, it was only Dominator, myself, and David Glasgow. That's right. They yeah. played in 87. Exactly. So. Oh, yeah, you're right. And of course, Dom was lucky to play in 79 first in the. You played uh, in 79 first. Famous yeah. grand final. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you both won a grand final in your first year you got the counter. Yeah. How good is that? Like, how, how easy is this? Yeah, well, I was lucky. I mean, I, I didn't realise that I was the only one that played in the four flags. Yeah. I didn't realise it until right. a couple of years ago. Some guy right. knocked, tapped me on the shoulder and said, oh, you didn't realise you did this? I said, no. That's Only right. one to play 79, 81, 82 and 87. Yeah. Well, Dool played in what, four or five? What? No, Dooley, well, but Dooley, he never played in the 87. Dooley didn't play in 87. He retired at the end of 86. Yeah. Yeah. That's what had me fooled a little bit. Yeah. So what, what's the record? Four or five? Uh, Premierships. Four or five. Premierships, four. you'll find that, um, yeah, I think you'll find that Bruce Dool played in five. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I reckon he played in five. Um, he was a 70, fan. Se was, was he no, in 70? 70, yes. He might not have played no, 70, actually. He didn't play 70, he was on the bench. No, 72, 72, 79, 82. 81, 82. Yeah, so four, four also, no. maybe. All right, maybe we should research I know David Mackay played in four, because he's yeah, the only no, one to ever beat oh, Collingwood in three of them. Oh, I yeah, love that. Swan, Swan would have been. Yeah, Swan would yeah, He's a great player. Anyway, so we digress. All right, let's talk about this, right? First of all, Ron, I want to just ask you one thing Wayne right we you play in the elimination final yes. right against four boys yes. and you beat them but yeah. what happens you get suspended yeah yeah it's got reported in the second quarter yeah yeah you get suspended and you get two weeks yeah was, it was the longest it was the longest hearing in history <laughs> I had O'Shaughnessy as my uh, advocate and yeah. went for three and a half hours and it took them that long to give me two weeks yeah 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 and the thing was that um the next week, if Carlton had won, you would have missed out on the grand final. Yeah, I bought a Richmond beating. I was going to say, how was that? Was yeah. it really? What did you? That, that feeling, that's hard. That's well, hard. The, what happened was the hardest part was training on the Thursday before we played Richmond in the in that semi. And Parkin said, "Look, don't worry, Dom will win it for you." I said, "Bullshit! You can't win it without me." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's it. That's true. And I, don't, I didn't mean to say it, but. Uh, <laughs> It's That's a fate of fate of complete ended up, ended up happening. Well, they did They did well because uh, they lost that, but then they won the week after. And um, yeah. and all of a sudden, you're in a, in a grand grand final, yeah. So tell us about, well, you'll say well, this. Well, there, there was a bit of a build-up to the game. I mean, um, obviously, uh, you'd played under Parkin uh, the year before. Brilliant, brilliant result in 1981, his first year. 
What was the feeling going into the second grand final? Chance to win back to back. Was it nervous? Was it confident? How were you guys feeling going up against Richmond who smacked your backsides two weeks earlier? Yeah, I mean, they dominated that year really and um, we had a lot of bad luck throughout the year, I would think. Um, yep. After injuries and suspensions and really at one stage might have made the finals. But um, then we came up against Richmond and they gave us a smashing by 10 goals. Yeah. And um, I remember coming off the ground and you know, I was thinking, geez, they're a bloody good side. And, and Parkin saying to us straight after the game, said, don't worry about it, if we get them again, we'll beat them. We'll beat them. And so, um, so we went into the next game pretty confident against Hawthorne. Um, Curly Austin played a terrific game that yes. day. Um, Beat uh, Lee Matthews. Yeah, yes. He tagged out Lee Matthews. And yeah. Probably got an elbow in the face yeah. for his trouble. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately he copped a cork in his, in his oh, leg. that's right. Sunday morning. At training. At training. Playing yeah. soccer. Playing soccer. And Jeez, he's that's rotten luck. He's in Even Harmsy said that he would play. What are you doing playing soccer? Oh, well, it was just the ritual, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, Sunday Catholic, morning. Catholic versus the Protestant. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 What they used to call yeah. it? A pleasant Sunday yeah. morning? Yeah, it didn't matter what we played. Yeah. Bristol yeah. would be best on ground. Yeah. 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 Whether it was hockey, yeah. volleyball. Yeah. You name it, he yes, was best on ground. He was he great. Was, so he was that good at everything, yeah? No, he just tried hard. Just tried hard. Yeah, like we're all hungover. He was a tried hard. They're all hungover from the Saturday night, and Bruce has Bruce has gone yeah, home well, early. Bruce have a beer. Got himself but, uh, a good night's he'd sleep. He'd go home early though. Yeah. yeah no, so great. anyway, so what does the coach do, and what does he say to to, to reinstill that belief in you guys? Was it purely because he was so confident that you'll get him next time, or did he say anything or plan anything that helped you guys get the confidence to go out there and, and beat Richmond? Well, I think um, I think Park and coach brilliantly that year because we did have a lot of you know, misfortune throughout the year, and yep. the one thing he did say was that. Uh, they lined up that way, and I'm telling you now, they'll line up the same way when we play them in the grand yes. final. And they did, but Park and... So uh, they showed their hand in other words. Showed their hand. Uh, they had they were all the big blokes up front, so yes. Parko put on, you know, um, put yeah. a lot over on play. He did. Um, Pera, or, Wait, or, by Warren yeah, Jones yeah. in the rack? Yeah, 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 we yeah, made yeah. a change. Dooley um, yes. was on... Um, was he on uh, Jess? Uh, uh, Jess, Jimmy Jess, Jess. Yeah. and um, who was Peron? Um, uh, just because they, they made a big, they made a big blue actually. The one tool they should have played was Brian Taylor, who was available. True. Uh, Ask true. him, BT. He's, he's still filthy. Yeah, he was still filthy. Still and um, still and filthy. because we lost, <laughs> South, we, we lost Southby and uh, Austin. That's yeah, right. So neither right. complained. I'm, I'm sitting there. Two of, your, two of your best defenders. I said to Park, I said, "Just made a blue here because Paul Lotto had cloak and you know, cloak didn't do too much and." Uh, yeah. no. I thought, geez, if, um, if we lost somebody else, we were in a bit of trouble if they played Taylor, but they played yeah. Satori and put him on Glasgow. Yeah. And then nice Parkin's guy. strategy was to Those actually slow stuff. Richmond down. I think we broke the record for 15 metre penalties. Yeah. And you'll find yeah. that the 15 metre penalty came in. After that, after, after that, was it? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Just quickly, was like, also, even so on the, during the game, yeah. there was a couple of moves done by Park Allen. Yes. One was Harms and McConville. Yep. He swapped them around. Yep. And Harms, he was a star. Harms, Harms was on range at the start. Yeah, that's right, because he kicked a couple, yeah, yeah. or he kicked one, and he missed a few. Yeah. You missed a lot of goals that first quarter, just yeah. quietly. Yeah. You about me or the team? The team <laughs> and you. Yeah, yeah. I kicked two, at least. <laughs> yeah, did kick two. You quickly jumped on that free kick when when um, Finn got taken off the stretcher. Well, he was gone. <laughs> yeah, he was gone. It <laughs> <laughs> was that ditch burn. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, but you see, um, poor old Ross was, ditch I think it was yeah. Ashy. Yeah. Ashy was sitting next to me. Said, "Give it a." I said, I said, "Give it to Ashy." But the umpire, they just said, "No, you have got to take it." So. Yeah. There was another interesting move made too, because Mike Fitzpatrick was really the number one ruckman, and yeah. Yeah. Wow Jones was like a, a relief ruckman off the bench. But he actually started Wow Jones on the ground, and he and he basically put his faith in him to, to go up against big Mark, Mark Lee, Lee yeah. Yeah. And, and that freed up Fitzpatrick to, to play centre half yeah. forward and take a yeah. few marks and kick some goals. Well, pay dividends towards yeah. the end of the game, but there's a couple of couple of stories, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, definitely. There's there's, well, there's, there's heaps uh, of stories. There's lots well, of stories. another thing before we've got some highlights that we want you to look at, but before that, when you are running out. Yeah. Well, you say this, you know this because you're... Well, there was a bit of controversy at the start, wasn't there? Because, um, as all good Carlton supporters would know, two extra players <laughs> ran out onto the ground. Fully decked out. Fully decked out in their gear. Yeah. Ran through the banner. And um, then after you went around the, the ground for a bit of a lap, they put their 
tracksuits back on and went off. <laughs> and they were uh, David Clark and Frank Marcazzani. David, Marcusani. David yeah. Clark number 26 and um, yeah. Frank Marcazzani and the famous number 25. Yeah. So yeah. what was it? What was behind that? Did you guys know about that before beforehand? Not really. I don't think. I, I think yeah. it was. They were both very unlucky not to be in the side. We knew they weren't in. Yeah, we knew they weren't in. I, I think Parco. I think he wanted to try and confuse Richmond. Yeah. He wanted. We wanted to keep them guessing right up to the last moment. Yep. Yeah. And uh, to their credit, I mean, to yep. Frank and David Clark to run out in the ground, fully deck out, it was a bloody big thing to do. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I could have done that. They, no. I, I suppose that they call that one sort of doing it for the yeah. team or taking yeah. one for the team. But yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's a, it probably leave a slightly sour taste in their mouth that they didn't play. So Yeah, I'm sure they I don't know. We were, Would you have done that? Well, Clark, 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 Clark was my idol when he played at Geelong. I was a Geelong supporter, yeah. so I was hoping to play in a... Grand final with a very tough oh, yeah. play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he, well, he kicked five goals in the yeah. very final. Five yeah. How many, how many right. players kick five right. goals and then, get, well, and then get dropped for a grand final? Yeah. Well, we had Wayne Johnson coming back. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> well, no, oh, that's understandable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> they, they had Buckley too, didn't they? They had Buckley yeah, and Johnson yeah, coming yeah, back. Buckley's yeah, well, the best of first winner. Yeah, he won the best of first. Jimmy Buckley won the best of first. Sensational year, so unfortunately someone had to miss out. There's always a hard luck story here or there on most grand finals, but um, all right, well, I guess... Hey, let's uh, have a look at some highlights there. So we've got some first first half highlights and some special moments for the day. So let's have a look at these and uh, just uh, give us your thoughts. Let's have a look here. Well, Jono, who kicked the first goal of the game? Here it is, watch this. (laughs) uh, (laughs) He gets it. Look at this. And here it is, this is a... uh, Nice. A bit of a replay there from behind the goals, and um, you've almost kicked that one out of midair, really. Yeah. yeah. And then the next one straight away. There's Ella Martello. Yeah. Ella Martello yeah. gets tackled. Yeah, way for the third. That was the Wayne Arms. One too. I, I thought he might have got that kick smothered, no, but apparently no, he not. No, he got it. He got it. And the third one was the third one actually. So I've just Didn't paused it. So there was a third one. Yeah. yeah, and it was it started really raining, and then there was a third one by uh, Ashman. Yes. Yeah, that was because of free kick. I, I went to run through Mark. Mark Lee was yeah, going to pick up the it. ball, and I went to shirt front him, and he. Dogged it, he dogged it, and uh, Fitzy kicked the ball off the ground, yeah. yep. and it landed in Dashman. That's so right. I'll take, right. I'll take, I'll so take you, that I one. remember that. 100%. Yeah. So you kick three goals, and that ends up being yeah. the final mark. Yeah, yeah. we lost by 18. Well, well, we knew, we, we, knew we, had to, we, had to, we had to get out of the box. Yeah, yeah he always said that. Depending on how quickly you get away at the start, normally yeah. well, that's the result at the end of the game. Yeah. Isn't it interesting, eh? The first three goals we kick and we win the game by exactly yeah. 18 points. Yeah. 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 Could have gone off the ground then. And yeah. yeah, that's I it. Mean, <laughs> saved all yeah, the trouble. Oh, oh, surreal. Did you remember any of the first three goals? Oh, well, well, I've seen it often enough, but <laughs> well, later on in the quarter that I'll get knocked out. Later yeah. But I think, the, I think the, uh, you know, those three goals that we kicked, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, to start gave us a lot of confidence because Richmond were the better side and they better yeah. by ten goals. It shocked them. It shocked them. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it put us off top. Yeah, line. yeah. And uh, it was just. A Nevertheless, they did get in front of at some stage. I think in the uh, second eleven point. points at yeah. half time. Well, they they so, kicked like so they, they kicked, did pick it back nine goals to three. They were really cut loose when he, when Kenny went off. Yeah. Rioli yeah. cut loose and kicked a couple, maybe That's two right. or three. Yeah. And then I actually went on to Rioli. I went on to range and then right Rioli. Yeah, me, me mad. So after those three goals, right? <laughs> yeah. We get a little bit of a. Uh, there's a. There's some more vision. There's Big Mark McClure. So tussling now the in big the middle. scuffle. Do you remember this? No. I can't remember no. much about it. There was a massive brawl. Yeah, there was. A bit of it started brawl. raining. Yes. I think, yeah. I think well, it was. Yeah. There was a bit I of repartee going on there. Yeah, there's a bit going on behind the players. Well, yeah, with, there was a I bit. Think, uh, Mario. There they are. What's the kick, from Jimmy? There you go, look, there you are. Oh, oh, oh. Kenny, you're right in there. Oh, right I kept back and back with Landy because you wanted to king hit me. That's nothing more than the football as well, so isn't it really? I mean, a bit of pushing and shoving. And yeah. Yeah, it's nothing really. Not really, not not really that much. I've seen worse in grand finals than that, Rocco. No, no, that was good. Look at, look at Barlett, he just kept away from everyone. He, would, he wasn't going to get involved. I kept away with Landy. Yeah. yeah. Had enough energy for that. There, there it is. There we go. I can't <laughs> believe this. Mail, All right, mail, so mail. if everyone can hear that, right? Yeah. There's some sort of protest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. Well, uh, sorry for that little interruption there. We are uh, in the middle of Spring Street in the city at uh, this beautiful place called the European, right near the Princess Theatre. 
We've got Parliament House right opposite, boys, and um, yeah. we're enjoying a lovely coffee out here uh, in this yeah. lovely cafe. Yeah. So. so anyway, we're just in the middle of it, so let's have a look at some more highlights here, so you yeah. can just see, like, look at this, you remember this, John? Watch yeah. this, look at this. Barry Rollings, yeah. oh, great smother. Hey. Well, she had the helmet on back in those days. Yeah, yeah he Already? had the helmet on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that, I mean, that's... That's typical good. of Dom and his uh, inspiration and stuff there. Yeah. And here we go. One here is there. There. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh! He had a good game, didn't he? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's a good game, actually. There you are, Kenny. Yeah. Oh, oh, and there's where so Kenny just knocked go. it. You get six weeks now. Is that, you get six does that still give you nightmares, that hit? Oh, no, not really. I mean, it's just it's one of those things. I mean, I was left myself wide open. And right. If I had been out the other way, I probably would have done the same thing. But, yeah, it's just hard to come off at that stage of the game, I guess. And really not know where I, where I was. I don't think Dooley was too happy with him. Uh, but, uh, now, they say... They say yep. that's it, you don't remember the rest of the game. Is that correct? No, I, I reckon I, they put me on back on about, I don't know, about near the end of the quarter. I towards the end of the first quarter. Yeah. Because there was Johnson yeah. and uh, Riola a couple of goals. And I, I don't remember coming back on the ground. In fact, when I came back on, yeah, my socks were up, which I, I'd never worn. <laughs> never worn the socks up. <laughs> so that was a bit of an indicator, I think, that I had no idea yeah, where I was. Probably. I can't believe he came back. I don't. I, I remember coming to about half time. Yeah. Um, that I, I started to realise where I was, uh, but I don't even remember coming back on the ground. Yeah. Well, as I say, and, well, I, and I remember seeing the, which we'll probably get to, uh, the streaker, and I was thinking yeah. to myself, well, <laughs> she woke up, you up. <laughs> no. Well, I, I remember looking around. I'm going. I think I kept on thinking. Oh, I'm sure I'm playing in a grand final one day because you get this. A surreal realization about where you are. Well, you yeah. did come back and you were one of the better players, so that, yeah. that shows a lot. Well, yeah, that shows a lot. Well, when I saw this naked lady, I thought I've got no idea where yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it makes it's sense. It was a dream. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. Am I in heaven Mate, already? <laughs> just quietly, right? So I was 12 years old. I was 14. That was my first I'm watching grand on TV. Yeah. Did I get excited, mate? No, tell you something. Well, mate, I was there. Was... It was the first grand <laughs> final I ever went to in yeah. person. My dad took me. And it was, as you know, a bit, yeah. bit wet that day. Yeah. He said, don't worry, Vince. He said, I've got two undercover seats. Well, the, the, the Great Southern stand in those days was just like a flat roof thing. Yeah. And there's the column for the end of the stand, and the rest of it's all out in the open. Yeah. And we've got the last two seats. Oh, so you're getting wet right <laughs> and, the, and the rain's coming in from this end, so oh. got drenched anyway. So yeah. didn't bother me no. one bit. Not one, not one bit, but anyway. Let's have a look at some more highlights here. There's... Uh, so Dooley, the great Brucey Dooley, there, there you are, Kenny, you're staggering you around. Remember too much there, you can see you're getting taken off. Yeah, does that bring back memories? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Last got played a good yeah. game. Yeah. Here we go, Jono, always. There you are, Wayne. Ah, man, over years. You had the Mosquito Fleet in yeah. full. Um, there you go. In full flight back yeah. in those days. You had so is that when you? Yeah, is that when you? Phil Mellon, Wayne Holmes, yeah. yourself, yeah, great John, game. Yeah. Alex, uh, Marcou, Alex Marcou, Jimmy yeah. Buckley, Rod Ashman. The names just keep going on and on, don't they? Yeah. He's yeah, actually with the helmet. Yeah. Look at this, look at this. Great pass. Come on, Jono, Come kick on. it! I think I might have missed that one. Nah, you missed know. it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was I close. It was about 2-3, I think, in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. Well, they ended up with 14 goals, 19. Yeah, yeah. To 12 goals, 13. So, yeah. we actually um, had yeah, eight goals. Here you go. Here's Kenny, 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 Kenny coming back on. You've got the socks up. you got the yeah, socks up, you're right. Yeah, that's it. You know what? I know he's not going to have a good game when he has the socks up. I think Compy was happy. <laughs> Poppy was happy just to be out there. Oh yeah, yeah mate. He was a great bloke. He was a great bloke. There you go, and then no, um, you're straight back are, into Kenny. it. And he gets around Rioli nice, and he hits mate. it. Left forward, Ditchburn. Oh mate, Rossi Ditchburn. He's another one. Look at this. Now Ross Ditchburn went down with was it an ankle injury or knee injury? No concussion. Concussion. Oh, concussion. Yeah, it was concussion. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, not there earlier, but uh, that's right. Yeah. Concussion. Yeah, he got hit too. Yeah. So they really went after the man on a fair, fair decent way. Was a, I mean, if you look at some of the highlights and slow it down, you get some really big hits in it. Yeah, um, they were just off the ball and on the ball, and yeah. it was a tough game. It was a tough, tough, game, was a tough, tough hard game. Oh and yeah, a lot of everything. Yeah, you know, it was raining. It was a great start that we had. Yeah, you know, it was, and it was just. 
No, I mean it's raced really throughout the whole game. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I started the time. Now the one incident that this grand final oh, wait a is we'll, we'll get to it. famous for, we've got to get to <laughs> no, that. No, we'll get to that, don't worry, that's all coming. We're going to go look at this now. I'm going to miss another guy. No, I'm going to go back. We're going to watch Dominator yeah. kick another one. I mean, I missed it. <laughs> no, we're going to watch it. No, we're going to watch it. Well, yeah, that's yeah, what they said. If you kick 4 2 instead of 2 4. Oh, yeah. man, that's still like 31 times. All right. And I'd so range, was, I'd range in real. There's another one. I think you're getting angry here, man. You're going to go in a. That's a poking on hand. <laughs> what Here we go. Get... Look, at, look at Kenny. Oh, yeah. Picks it up, lad. It's straight after, man. He went straight back in. Well, these days, the play wouldn't have come back on and he'll miss the week after. Missed two. Missed yeah, that, that was a good week. pass, eh? Nice yeah, one for Kenny Stelton. It was a great pass. pass. And McClure oh, almost. Here's Ross Ditchburn. Oh, yeah. oh, that's when he caught That's when he dropped yeah. it. It's an accident kick in, accidental kick in the head. head. head back, yeah, yeah, accidentally. Accident. And who's got the ball? Like any good forward. <laughs> hey, that's right. Give me the ball. ball. <laughs> Give me the ball. Oh, I was closest to him. <laughs> you know what's amazing? Make sure it. the goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to give it Ashy. Have yeah. you seen much of this vision since the game? No. No? But, it's amazing how many of you footballers don't watch the games yeah. after you play them. And we watch them like a thousand times. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we, well, should have been, we should have been a long way in front. We yeah. should have been a long way in front. They came back, as I said, they kick like, um, here you go, you, you keep running. Look at this. What's McClure doing, mate? He tripped over. Yeah. That was a brilliant and pass. And there's the buzz. There's the buzz. Yeah. He started on the bench that day, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. There was the move, Harmsy went back. Harmsy went back on the Bartlett and yeah. kept him quiet for the rest of the game. Yeah, well, Bartlett's always a potential match where he kicked, what, seven goals in the in the grand final two years ago. There early. you go, there yeah. you go. Kenny, Kenny oh, Max kicks a goal. Oh, oh brilliant. Hey, the two Western Australians, they Great stand start. up. Yeah, Buzz Man. Oh, that Buzz came, came to light. He did. Yeah, he did come to light. Yeah, he's oh, unbelievable. He's not bad, that number nine, is he? Yeah, yeah. No? no, no, he does well. He does well. <laughs> Here we go. Even when Gono. he gets hit and knocked out. Well, this is a. I mean, these are just great memories for Carlton yeah, supporters. 100. Yeah. percent Can't there believe it's 40 years ago. And yeah. this is the thing. It's the 40 year anniversary. He There's was fast. Uh, Alex. Alex, mate, he told me how fast he was. He was fast. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure he told Well, he, ki he really kicked the sealer in that last quarter that just yeah. put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, he and Peter McConnell. He and Peter McConnell, yeah. 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 And uh, we never looked like losing after that. Yeah, that's it. So, but, there, uh, so there, now, unfortunately, people, because of YouTube copyright and that, that's the only highlights I can show. The rest, they say no. But there was plenty, so if they kicked the next, you know, like six out of nine goals, but you slowly fall your way back in that second half, yeah? You slowly fall your way back and hit the front. I think they made that change, then, didn't they? They put well into the... It, it yep. came back into the middle. And yep. it was a Ruckman and a pitch at 10.5 Yeah. We got that rock you, on and... You kept uh, them goalless in the third quarter. Yeah. Well, I Premier didn't realise that. Didn't realize that. And that's a, a Five came, goals, four. Streaker came points. through then, didn't she? She came through. Streaker. Yeah, Richmond the streaker blamed her. Yeah, Parkin said, Richmond Parkin blamed said her. get Johnson off and get Helen Domingo <laughs> on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, while we're here, let's... let's. And Johnson said, no bloody way, get off the ground. Well, let's have a look at that moment there, everybody. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. There yeah, she is. Yeah, I was surprised to see Bruce in the uh, coming into the centre of the ground. <laughs> yeah, first time he'd have been in the midfield. He, <laughs> where I was trying to yeah, get he actually, he actually runs in and yeah, goes, he runs what are you doing in here? Somehow I don't think that the, uh, yeah. the curtains and blinds yeah, match the carpet it. somehow. Wasn't natural, he wasn't oh, a natural that's blind. Somehow, right. Here we go. Look at this. Get out of here. <laughs> were you really angry? Oh, yeah. Were, were you actually angry? Oh, well, we were on a bit of a roll. Yeah. And, um, that's you didn't right. want to disrupt that. Disrupt it, yeah. I felt that uh, we had the momentum. Well, well, I think well, I had Lee's mind really working you know, ticking yeah. over for some reason. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen Mark Lee actually be like that in, yeah. uh, in a long time. Yeah. And well, well, did he very, bit, yeah, he had his job done. Yeah. Did it really well and, and freed up Dixie for centre half forward. Yeah. 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 Which was a bit of a surprise, I suppose. Yeah. 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 And you said that uh, pleasant one. Like you, yeah. you were saying you. 
You saw the naked you didn't know what was going on, did you? I had no idea. Oh, I, I you thought we were in my Chase's nightclub or something. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or maybe a Although that might have been more like uh, Jono's domain back in those days. Yeah, well, could have been a that's where he used to dominate. Remember, yeah, that's yeah, how that's he got right. the name Dominator. What, yeah. no, not, uh, Which nightclub was that? So how did you get the name Dominator? Chase's. 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 How did you get the name Dominator? I called myself that. <laughs> yeah, I said I was dominating the scene and I actually wasn't as drunk as <laughs> It was only about four or five after girls after around here that time. Yeah, because it was a private function upstairs. That's right. Some of the guys said, "Hey, gang, have a good, having a yeah, good yeah, night, Johnny." And he said, "I'm dominating here." Yeah, yeah, from that, that, from that day onwards. Oh, they, yeah, we turned up to training the next morning, and uh, <laughs> they called you the Dom. Barry Armstrong and Trevor Keo then to come out and say, "How are you, Dom?" And uh, I thought I couldn't work it out. Is that you know, call me Dominic? I, I, can't, I can't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We are running the lap and a couple others started going off and then McClure goes, you idiot, don't you remember what you said? And you've got to be careful here because um, it's not a good ad, but uh, I left at three in the morning and I somehow got to training at eight o'clock. I was asked to leave actually. Yeah. 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 And then the drink driving wasn't a real issue in those thing. days, yeah. but it wasn't a good thing. And uh, yeah, anyway, I got the training, I copped it hard and then it, the name just grew and mm. then it, um, I think uh, the, the great, media got a lot of the great Lou Richards and Tom Fry yeah. got hold of it and they said this bloke yeah. who plays for Callum calls himself the Dominator's right now is playing like the lowest common denominator. <laughs> 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 and that was, I think it made the front, it was front page. Once the, the media, once the the media gets yeah. it, that's it. It's, it's yeah. uh, folklore. But the name, uh, like you... It you grew, yeah, well, then it came back, and uh, who, who cares? Well, it suited you because yeah. I mean, in finals, there was no greater finals player than, no. than Wayne Johnson, no, and uh, David Parkin will tell you that quite, quite openly that uh, that you were the best finals player he'd ever seen and ever coached. So, um, yeah. you know, it was a great, great green final, fantastic memories. Where's you guys, where's the North Smith? Well, yeah, well, wow, let's talk about that. Like, uh, yeah, someone uh, not many times has uh, one of the players from the losing. Uh, Losing side one. Side one, eh? He did fine. have a good game, but I mean, he kicked a couple of goals when you went off, so so he got a few freebies there. Yeah, it was all, it's all very <laughs> debatable. But he like, yeah. yeah. oh, well, Morris right. He was a he's gun player. A chance, he's a yeah. great player. He's, so a, he's, a super he's, a, he's a great player as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, at that point in time, we were, you know, we just yeah. happy to win. Happy to win. Yeah, yeah. Well, happy to get a medal around I mean, our necks. And when Harmsy won, I, I didn't know for six months what the North Smith was. He was the North Smith. I mean, he's a nephew off. He's a nephew off too. Just he was. There was a hand me down. He reckons. Well, he says that he reckons it was a it was a bit of a favour that he was the Norm oh. Smith thing. Because it was uh, Norm Smith's nephew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nephew, to me, yeah. I think the Norm Smith should be recognisable, not for the best players, it's so hard to decide who's the yeah, best yeah. player. If they maybe decided what was the best moment that maybe changed the game, or the moment in the game that yeah. made things happen. Well, then Wayne Harms, well, Wayne Harms wins, wins it. Wins it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I think there's no, I haven't got a problem with uh, something like that, because trying to pick the best player really leads to a lot of conundrums. Leaves out Backman. What about, moment, if, what about if they say that's yeah. right? What about if yeah. they say the player yeah. that has the greatest impact yeah. on the result? So on the result, yeah. or the yeah. it might be one or two acts. It might yeah. be five minutes yeah. of play where you impact the game. For example, that um, 2016 premiership that the Bulldogs won over at Sydney. Yeah. I thought Tom Boyd yeah. turned that game, turned the game, changed the game, and he yeah. should have won it. But they get yep. to go hand us yeah, purely on yeah, statistics. Yeah, statistics. Statistics, that's right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. too much crap with this. Yeah. I mean, midfielders, God bless them. But still, honestly, it's, uh, it's, yeah. the game's made also it's based around them. Yeah, you get right. your, your, your main key forwards and your key backs will actually win you the flag. Yeah, yeah 100%. Or win you the big games. 100%. Well, you, well the team, really. And a good defensive pressure, obviously. Of course. But, but you've had such a round of team, man, from back to front, you know what I mean? And then, like, when you and Buzz come along, who else came along in 81? Um, uh, I think Greg Wells. Greg Wells from yeah. Melbourne came yeah. along. He, he played yeah. in the centre. He was yeah, a very he good acquisition. Yeah. He came in '81 and uh, he played in the grand final. Left. He did. He, did. he yeah. jagged it. He did well. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, the Mosquito Fleet, the defence, I mean, you had Bruce Dool probably to argue with yeah, the best defender ever. Yeah, yeah. The Mosquito yeah. Fleet was there, but I, mean, I think when Kenny and uh, Buzz came over, Even it made, Lotto, made, a, made, over a, made a huge right. difference. Like, oh. I watched their first game, because I, I, I missed the, miss the, first first miss the first game of 81, <laughs> I missed the first 10. Yeah, but I watched them and I said, it's the best, best introduction to football I've seen from two players. Yeah, It's phenomenal. It was, yeah. I mean, that was an absolute salt case out of last year's premiers. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was, we did and Kenny and Buzz were probably our two best players. Yeah. Well, I think it was 
Yeah, we were one half back flanker and one half forward flanker. One was an extrovert, one an introvert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the extrovert. Yeah, yeah. 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 he chose the next person. He wearing your socks down. The bus wore him down because he couldn't pull them up. But you must have been pitching yourself to some extent that you're playing on a half back line with Bruce Dool and Val Perivic yeah. on, yeah. on the other side of you. Yeah. And Buzz must have been also buzzing that he was right next to Mark McClure and, and this bloke. Ah, well, oh, well, I, I, he lived with me for a while. Him, him, him and, Did he? Yeah, him and Shelley, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had to put up with him because I, <laughs> play, I wasn't playing any footy there. Did you have to take him to Mooney Valley every Friday yeah, night? Yeah, yeah, he used to go, Friday night. <laughs> Leo, go to Leo Brooks, get the tips and go to watch the harness. Yes. But, uh, yeah, no, he, he, he had Mark of the Year and Goal of the Year. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, I, yeah, it was, it was quite, quite remarkable. And Kenny won the BNF and... I yeah. think Kenny won the BNF, won. and then he won the wow. Mark of the Year yeah. in uh, 1983. Wow. Yeah, and good. I always think if you can win the BNF in a Premiership year, that says a lot yeah. about a yeah. player. Yeah. But you know, quite a few players in year too. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I think when yeah. I went along to the Best and Paris Night, and all I wanted to do was beat Buzz basically because they're, <laughs> you know, they're both West Australians. Yeah, we all did. Don't say, don't say that to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and by it's the like, way, big cheery out of the oh, Buzz. Yeah, oh, I hope he's on, 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 on the road to recovery, yeah, Buzz. Yeah, I love Buzz. He'd be loving yeah. watching this nah, one. He's a champion, yeah, a real so, champion. Yeah. But I, I was actually signed in 1979. Yeah. So um, I, I used to watch all those blokes on the winners. Is that those form fours? That's right. On the form fours. Oh, so you were signed in 79 and what happened? A couple of years. Well, I was still contracted at Claremont. And, uh, ah, but I wanted to come yes. over, but they wouldn't let me go. And um, I came over same. as a guest for the '79 Grand Final. Yep. So um, these blokes couldn't remember, but I remember them and watched them all the time on the winners in WA because yeah. yeah. I knew I was going to Carlton. That's so, right. So, so you only came over when you were what 23, 24? 23, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. and you, so were, you were 21, too. 21 and a half, 22. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You had a bit of a also a little bit of a rocky start. Like you, you played and then they, you went back to yeah, what, Who did you used to play Paran. for? Paran, Paran, yeah. Paran. No, I didn't go back to Paran. No, no. I, I kicked 83 goals. I went. I, that was earlier. I'd come to Carlton two times prior, yeah. and I then I'd gone back to Paran. But I was never, never ready uh, in my mind, or I was never got fit enough. Yeah, and then obviously you know, I came down one year, '78 pre-season. That's right. Yeah, and they did 10 200s to start off with, and, and I won the first one, <laughs> and couldn't finish the other. Eight. <laughs> the last eight. I was absolutely rooted. Yeah, actually, we almost lost it to Melbourne. Melbourne, 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 Melbourne Football Club well, almost got it. Well, that's why we thought we, I've been to Carlton twice. That's right. And uh, let's try to get to another club. Yeah. So my agent, I had an agent, Jack Crapot, who's still in. Yeah. in yeah. Football, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, he's a good mate of mine now still, and um, yeah, we went for went for a bit Jezza in his own own manner. Uh, no, I'm not clearing anybody until we see them play. Yeah. So I played a practice match, and another right. one, another one. Didn't you kick like, kick kick like four, kick four or five yeah. on Jezza, actually? He really kicked yeah, right. on Jezza. Yeah, man, but he wasn't oh, really, yeah. Jezza wasn't, in, he was just yeah. coaching. Yeah, really. yeah, of course. Yeah. So it was an easy one. I think he, may, he might have wanted me to stay, he might have let me have him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good choice. Yeah, all the best to Jezza, too. Yeah, yeah Jezza, too, There's another, another one. one. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the best all to Jezza. All the greats. Doing all it tough at the moment, Yeah, you'll be right. When you come over, what was the difference? Was there a big difference between AFL and where you were playing? Was it Claremont? Uh, yeah, no, Claremont. No, West Australian footy was pretty strong back yeah, in those yeah. days. And um, the State of Origin games were pretty Yeah, I remember State of Origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WA did very well against yeah. Victoria. Yeah, well, I played in the, the inaugural yeah. was, uh, State of Origin game yeah. in 1977, oh, I think. Yeah, 78. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I was on the bench and I was like 19 or something, and the youngest player out there, and I, I was just I couldn't believe that I was playing with blokes who were playing in Victoria, yeah. like Graham Moss and yeah. Graham Melrose, Ross Glendening, yeah. Yeah. And the Richardson brothers. Uh, Even champions that never well, came we, to Victoria, we, like we, Stephen we, Michael. We, was, he, yeah. was he playing at that gone. stage? That Super Stephen Star. Michael? Stephen Michael. Super Star. Super Star. Great yeah. player. Oh, he would have he he killed it over. Oh, yeah. he would have if he had ever, ever, ever come here. Mate, we played South Fremantle in a practice match one year. We went over with a fully stacked team. Jacko was full forward. On Jeff Southby. And he did all his pranks on Jeff. Yeah, but Michael, Michael's played, Vagona played, Basil, Basil Campbell, Campbell played, played, Campbell played mm. and Rioli played. Yeah. And they tore us, I, I think they beat us by 18 goals. Wow. Yeah. They were the first, first Jones, I think. They were some great players. And they were amazing. Barry Cable. These and it was stinking hot. And Mel Brown was coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they just oh. gave us a, a shellacking. Yeah, I was at that game. Because yeah. I'd already seen the game. Yeah. Sitting yeah. up on the hill, yeah. watching it. Okay, these guys are getting a flogging. Yeah, <laughs> we came in, 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 we came
round one a week there later. You go. Practice matches never meant too much to Carlton, to Carlton players back in those days, did they? No, no. It was, yeah, um, that wasn't a practice match, though. That was a. Oh, no, that was a state game. Belting. No, yeah, it was no, a belting. I, I, I remember coming over and you know, the first thing they did after training was go straight to the pub, the nearest pub. Yeah. And Norton's? Norton's, Norton's Hotel Spend in Royal Parade? It's depending on where you train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just pick out the nearest pub, and normally it was McClure leading the charge. Yeah. Funny about that. Yeah, <laughs> you go to, go to the pub and. G'day, sellers. Yeah, this is. I didn't mind a drink coming from Claremont. Yeah, you know, then uh, we start playing these practice games. And yeah. Every practice game, we're getting full. And I was like, you're a great bunch of blokes, so maybe I'll come along and play. It's <laughs> 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 David Park, and he was, he was yeah. coaching, and he you know, didn't drink. No, didn't smoke. Didn't smoke, didn't smoke didn't so he'd yeah. drive past the pub, and all the boys would pick up the glass, going, good on, there you go, Oh, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he'd be driving and looking at us. And anyway, we uh, got to the last game, we got flogged by Richmond up at uh, Vinigo. And That's right. And Bristol would come up to me and goes, don't worry about it, you know, it's the only practice matches. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the attitude, yeah. you know. That, yeah, 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 even Dooley took it easy. I remember Park, because when he logged at the club, I rang him at 3 a.m. in the morning. Wrong. Uh, that would have gone from, from, well. from the underground. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, abused him for getting, for getting rid of Michael Young. He <laughs> <laughs> said he should have got rid of me as well. And uh, anyway, I had to get coffee, pick me up the next morning to take me up to Bendigo because I was injured. Yeah. And um, I had the knee op operation. And uh, oh, mate, the whole committee got me in the rooms up there and said, mm. What are you doing? And, a new coach, I apologised. <laughs> said, all right, sorry, Dave. <laughs> so he didn't get off on the right foot, so he made me lose about 12 kilos. Okay, so he got me fit, actually. Probably resonated by my... Yeah, restacked my career, actually. Yeah, no, he got the best out of He was fantastic. He got the best out Was he the best coach? I, I don't really... I don't go down that line of best, best coach. I mean, They're all different. Jesse was there for one year and who knows what, what he was yeah, going to be. We won a flag. What, David about was the transition, what about the transition in 80... The end of 85, we'd had three years in a row of, you know, getting knocked out of elimination finals and stuff like that. Swap with Robert Walls. What was that like, that 86, 87, 88 period? And eventually 89 he got the sack of course, but yeah. it was that, I mean, it seemed that Carlton went up another notch again. I know, was it be purely because of the recruits like Kernahan and Bradley and Motley and Dorotich and Bernie Evans and guys like that, Mark Naley the year after? Or was it because Walls had uh, an even greater emphasis on fitness and getting you guys hard and tough? Well, he stopped the Sunday morning. Oh, right. Straight away. Oh, did he? Yeah, that was, a bit of, was a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah. And we started training on Sundays and recoveries and stuff like that. Monday, so we trained three days a week, so it was four days with Sunday. Yeah. It'd be a bit of a step up from yeah. two times a week and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys would have been getting sort of in towards those you know, senior years, around 30 years of age. Well, well, right, like I said before, there's only three of us that yeah. Yeah. survive. Yeah. I think that's one of the hardest things in footy, really, is that. Yeah, you play with all those blokes in the premierships like in 82. Mm. And yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah go for it. Oh, nothing. Sorry, I thought it might have been Shelly. She had nowhere to go. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah. But, but unfortunately, uh, um, one of the things in footy that sooner or later the blokes get sacked or they, they moved on. And you look at blokes like um, you know, Wayne Harms, Alex Marku, uh, Peter McCormick, all those players that yeah. played they in the grand to kill them. But they're only probably. I don't know, 26, 27. Yeah, still, a lot of still young had, men. They still had three years to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And there's that transition. Yeah. Yeah. I think you got a couple of us, we were approaching our peaks too. And we, mm. yeah, we, uh, there's my peak. Well, you played in 86 and won the, won the best and fairest with Bradley in, your fir in his first year. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember that. And you were still that playing, was playing really well yeah. at both ends of the ground. Uh, 87, you, I think you, you guys both kicked goals in the grand final. So. Um, it was I still think, very much, you know. Yeah, what's right good about it? There, I'm right? thinking, like, looking but I'm just on the outside, the transition Kernan, was one of the best getting Sticks, Bradley, and, and Molly. I mean, that would yeah. have been a huge, like, lift of the club. Well, it was, and I think, you know, unfortunately for us or all Carlton supporters, that we didn't get to see the best of Peter Motley. No, of course. No, he's, yeah, well, he's he played his last game. It was his best game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just, I think he had 20 touches at half time. Yeah. Was on the back yeah. 20. And he would have gone down as one of the greatest, yeah. no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, quite sure. up there. Tragedy, Sam. Great kid. Great kid. Yeah, yeah. Great family. Oh, they, really. they, 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 they were great duo. The two of them. Bradley and Motley. Bradley and Motley were great. Chalk and cheese. Yeah, they were. I remember when when they first logged to the club and we we had a footy trot. Trip in uh, yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, that's right. And uh, anyway, so we, we trained at seven in the morning and four in the afternoon. 
So I had no up we'd go out all night till five in the morning. Right. So yeah. Only about two hours sleep. <laughs> anyway, so these two new recruits are uh, bouncing on the beach. They didn't drink, of course. Of course. We were all laying on the couches and uh, <laughs> they'd be throwing the ball with tennis ball and they'd say, anyone for tennis? Get away, you know, it was just amazing. They had so much energy. Brad, Bradley, Bradley was, you know, just a machine. Consummate, yeah, consummate professional. He'd been playing cricket yeah. during the summer months and oh, footy during the winter thing. months, and yeah. he could run yeah. run like mad, couldn't he? Yeah, they were you know, uh, three great players, and, and John Dorrit. Well. It was yeah, a touching yeah. moment at the end of the 87 Premiership, too, when Bradley went up to Motley and yeah. gave him his medal and put yeah, around yeah, his I, neck. I, I gave him my jumper. Yeah. Premiership jumper. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him because I thought we thought he was going to pass away, and uh, yeah. Arsenal got back when he revived. He's got a back. Yeah, so he's got as he's got as he's living on the beach, he's living on the beach down at uh, in yeah. uh, Adelaide, and uh, yeah, I played tennis with him, and I was able to drop shot him then because he couldn't get to the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and he threw the racket at you. So. He's a great, a great guy. Yeah. So it all culminated in well. '87. Did you did you celebrate that premiership well enough? Or were you already focusing on 88? Because that's how Wolsey was, wasn't he? He was already thinking about the following year before yeah, before I, he even started celebrating the, the premiership he just won. Well, I don't know about Tom, but I, I think it was pretty hard to surpass 81-82 yeah. celebrations. You know? right. I mean, how oh, up in Canberra? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there, that's so. another story. You know, that was that would have been something special going off yeah. to Canberra, yeah, the Prime Minister. And, uh, uh, we all, we've all heard Alex uh, Marcoux's version of what happened up at the lodge. Was that pretty accurate? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. I don't know, I was downstairs. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to Malcolm about did my you? tax. <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, did you charge 55 cents in the dollar for your first, <laughs> for your second job? So you never went home with yeah. any pewter money? Yeah, I was going to say, did you go home with any? No, no, no. But, but I heard a lot of rattling when I walked yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, I like did. Jingle bell Can you thing? imagine when they went through those metal detectors at the airport? <laughs> I didn't even think of it. To, to, to Armsy reckons like he had, he had um, Malcolm Fraser's driver yeah. in his leg and he couldn't walk out with it. <laughs> I was a bit... I was a bit, I was a bit uh, Goff Whitlam days, you know, I was, I was a bit Labour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was brought up that way, so... But Malcolm and... Uh, Tammy? Tammy were just fabulous. Yeah, they yeah, were. Would have been yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, talk about fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget... Don't forget. Yeah. Well, don't, I put it all in there. <laughs> don't forget after the 87 Premiership, you went to London and... Oh, and celebrated oh, by, 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 by going into the Battle of Britain with North yeah. Melbourne. I didn't go that way. You man. played that game. Yeah, well, I'm the... Uh, you only, might not remember. I'm the only it. player in history that... Uh, to be reported and suspended and then get reported and suspended again while under suspension. <laughs> That's true. Because I, I played the 87 grand final for two weeks. You did get two weeks. And then they let me play over there and I got another two. <laughs> should have really got six and six probably. You know yeah. what? So, yeah. Yeah. But that was, did you really get Clarkson a good one yeah, after, right. after he hit um, uh, Ian Aitken? Yeah. The other thing is, it, it, looked it like was it. a shocking game to play in because it was never right. No. It was never right. And, and, and you know, look, the great John Kennedy, God bless him. He sent them out on their mission for 1988, and we were really not in that zone. Whatsoever, hard, nothing whatsoever. No. Yeah. No. Did you beat them in that? Was that in the last game when you beat them? Yes. You got top of the ladder. Yes, you did. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Canahan kicked that they one. They were out to get like sorry. a bit yeah. of a ring yeah. where they could. Yeah. 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 That Remember that thing? Canahan kicked it after the siren. Yeah. In the final game, yeah. and that meant we kept top spot on the ladder by kicking that goal Oops. after the so The Battle of Britain, you know, it wasn't worth doing, was it? Well, uh, I wasn't. I didn't go. It was, it was uh, it was, oh, you didn't go? No. Nah. It was, oh, right. it was uh, a very sour. The, 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 the festive stuff after it was between the two clubs wasn't good. How did you get out of it? Uh, got married. Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice, I love it. Yeah, well, that, good I, one. Probably because he got married, Hello, they, let, they let me in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, it cost me, it cost me a best and fairest actually. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. It's cost him a best yeah, and fairest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, who knows? Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's been an no, absolute thanks, pleasure to uh, catch up to yeah. not only icons of the club but icons of the game yeah. and. Uh, we're very privileged to have um, both Kenny Hunter and Wayne Johnson join us for our first segment of Talking Blue for 2022. Yep, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks, thanks again. Thanks, you too, mate. Thank you, Kenny. Sorry, I've got to run, guys. All the best.